Hi, I'm Dave with the Drew Technologies support team. Today I'd like to demonstrate using GDS2 to perform some basic diagnostic functions. GDS2 is the global diagnostic software used by General Motors starting in model year 2010 and fully implemented on all GM vehicles from 2014 and newer. I'll be going over how to perform some basic functions like an all DTC check, clearing any codes that we may find on our demonstration vehicle, and also performing bi-directional controls so we can activate the headlights, the power door locks, or the power windows to aid in the diagnostic of any vehicle that may come into your shop. The J2534 device I will be using today is a Drew Technologies Cardac Plus 2. The function with GDS2 is exactly the same whether you're using a Cardac Plus 2, a Cardac M, or a Mongoose Pro GM2 interface. If you need the instructions of how to install the GDS2 software, please refer to the toolbox under the Diagnostic tab where we have put together a walkthrough that you can print off and follow along as you install it. Now that we have a laptop with the GDS2 installed, our Cardac Plus 2, and our vehicle, let's go ahead and hook everything up and go through the demonstration. Okay, now that we've got our tooling hooked up, our Cardac Plus is hooked to our laptop and to the vehicle, we're going to go ahead and open up GDS2. And we're going to go ahead and go into the diagnostics of the vehicle and it'll automatically connect to our tooling and as you can see it's pulled the VIN automatically because we do have our key on. The key does have to be on for it to automatically do that. We're going to go ahead and hit enter and we're going to go into the vehicle diagnostic system and we're going to do a vehicle DTC information. Now what this will do is it'll um, ask you a couple of the options of some of the modules and you'll just you'll have to know what they are and this will go down it'll start querying all the modules in the vehicle and pulling DTCs if there are any and we can immediately see that in our engine control module we have five DTCs that are stored so once that's done we can come into our details and we can see that our air intake uh, our humidity sensor, we've got a high and low voltage on our air intake sensor and our barrel sensor and this is all correlating with the sensors that we've actually disconnected on this vehicle to go ahead and set these codes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug all of our sensors back in and then once we get that done we're going to cycle our key and we're going to go ahead and proceed with clearing the DTCs. Okay, now that we've got our sensors plugged back in and we've cycled our key um, from off to on again, we're going to go ahead and hit the clear DTCs. We're going to add the engine control module to the module we want to clear the DTCs from and we're going to click OK. It's going to ask us if we really want to do this and we're going to confirm and it's going to tell us it's complete and immediately go back down and go back through all the modules. And we can see that our engine control module now has no DTCs stored. So now that we've given you an overview of how to pull all DTCs on the vehicle and then clear them, we're going to go back to our main menu and we're going to come up to our module diagnostics. The module diagnostics gives you all of the different modules that are on the vehicle and it allows you to come inside these modules and perform uh, bi-directional controls by turning things on and off, monitoring certain PIDs um, with those systems and, and anything that has to do with them. So what we want to do is we want to come into the body control module And again, it's going to ask us to verify um, the vehicle, and this is a sedan, and it is not equipped with a start-stop system. We can come into our control functions, and this gives us all of the subsystems that are controlled by the BCM. So we can come into the exterior lighting, 
and we can come down to the actual high beams. And what we can do, we see we have an inactive and an active command state mode. So of course, if we want to command the headlights active, we can hit the active button and we can see the lights go on. We can hit inactive and we can see that the lights go off. This is good, this type of stuff is good for um, diagnosing certain uh, functions that uh, the customer may say is in-op. You can basically test to see if the body control module is actually commanding these functions on. Um, let's go ahead and do another one. We'll exit this procedure and let's come up to the windows. And let's go to the passenger window motor and this is just a warning that uh, the express down uh, buttons will only work if the vehicle is equipped with the express up or down. Um, so those functions in this next screen will only work if it's a function that's actually on the car. So now what we can do is we can come over to the down command. And as you see, when we command it down, the window will actually roll down. And of course, when we command it up, it'll roll back up. The last function that I'd like to show you is we'll come all the way back out and we'll come into the vehicle access, which allows us to actually access the door locks. This is perfect for testing actuators um, of certain doors, whether they're working or not. Um, you can activate this command and if you have a door that is not working or a door lock actuator that's not working, you can activate this command to actually see if you have the powers in the grounds at the actuators at the given command. So here if we go ahead and activate all door locks, you can see that the door locks and we'll go ahead and we'll go passenger door unlock and you can see that the command is sent to the passenger door and it unlocks it. So let's go ahead and back out, come back to our main menu. And you can see that there are several different bi-directional controls, things you can monitor on this car with the GDS2 software that can aid in the diagnosis of any vehicle that comes into your shop so you guys can get to the problem, get it fixed, and get the vehicle back to your customer in a uh, timely manner. We hope this video has given you a good basic overview of the types of diagnostics that you can perform with your Drew Technologies interface and a GDS2 subscription. Check out the toolbox for more informative videos and thanks for watching.